Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsty, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time we managed to get almost one and a half ton of uh, steel refined. Uh, so that's enough. Um, so we can uh, place in the first uh, uh, thermal aqua tuna made out of steel uh, and we need one uh, space from the wall and the intake is on the right side so that's the first one And then we can look what we got in here. Uh, a Tim Reed or a Dracklet. Let's take the Dracklet. And then let's see. We need to connect up power and this goes down here then here we will have the second aqua tuner this is the gap and here is the third one i hope my counting was correct And once we have the first aqua tuna placed, uh, then we can start with uh, the piping, which is a bit complicated. I can tell you that. Um, so, um, Let's put in a bridge in here, which should mean that the water coming from this side takes priority from what we have down there. And then we need a pump. And maybe um we should have placed um a transformer here um make more sense i guess um then we need a bit of uh, metal flooring here and then we can have normal normal wire from here to here and down there I think we have enough plastic for the last bed here. 
Um, let's plant myrtle leaf in here. Uh, give this bed to Ada, this to uh, Camille, and then Frankie can go in this one. And then everyone has the comfy bed. Let's have a look at the uh, schedule. Um, they are not evenly distributed. So we have 14, which means uh, we should have um, six on each. And I'm looking that we have about an uh, even uh, distribution uh, of the of the skills, so that work can progress independently of the shift. Okay, Frankie, you've got a comfy bed as well, which means we can clean out this room. Let's, let's pick up the debris. Just the wrong button. And we are refining more steel. How are we looking? Temperature wise, forty degrees, that's still okay. Uh, then let's put a bit more priority on this part. We need a bit of uh, uh, automation. Because we want to measure the temperature in the pipe. And based on that, uh, control the uh, aqua tuner. So, we are using isolated pipes here. Um, using ingenious rock. This is the out pipe. And this is the in pipe from here. And this is where it goes out. So I think it needs to be like this. This goes over here and then joins up here. How are we doing down here? Everything done, save the uh, the liquid pump. Waiting for the uh, iron ore. Uh, 
That's cool. Up here, um, two thirds grown up. Then this is the last uh, aqua tuner in the line. So uh, we want an aqua tuner uh, cools down by uh, 14 degrees Celsius. So the polluted water should only go through here if it is not yet cold enough so and cold enough would be minus um, uh, minus 18 I think so let's have a look at the properties of the polluted water uh, it freezes at minus 20.6 degrees Celsius so uh, I want to cool it down to minus uh, 18 that gives us a bit of uh, room spare. So if we go in here with water that is above minus four degree, uh, we cool it down to minus 18. If it is uh, already below, it will bypass this aqua tuner um, and join the line here again. Right. Okay, we will take the coal. We do have quite a bit, almost uh, 200 tons. But in the long run, uh, coal is not uh, something um, that is um, really sustainable. We do have the uh, hedge farm, but this only works as long as we have something to feed them. And in my experience, uh, eventually we run out um, so we cannot mass produce hatches to produce coal um, and then of course um, uh, we also uh, if we are really depending on the uh, coal generators we probably need more coal than we can produce with these four uh, ranches when they are producing full tilt. So we are already almost uh, back up at uh, one ton of steel again, which means we might be able to place the second uh, aqua tuner in here. Okay, so then let's have a look at the temperature overlay in our base. So down here on this side, it's a bit warmer and here in the middle. So we have to take care that our farm area are not getting too hot and I think this one we will convert to a farm area uh, we have uh, uh, one in here and then maybe uh, uh, this and that will probably one cooling loop and then we can cool this side down and the rest with the second one um, which might not be uh, that uh, efficient and then we can have try and have another one uh, for cooling this area down so we can have 
and expand our uh, directlet form. So hmm. Let's put in a bridge here, so we can go uh, with, with this pipe uh, down here and over. Um, and then a pipe here. It will take a while until we have everything set up, but uh, I think we do have we do have the time. We are still at 44 degrees Celsius, so um, that's that's okay. That's cool. Ah, we have no more iron queued up, so let's do 20 more. We have two tons of uh, of iron, and um, still more queued up. But uh, let's put in here uh, fifty. We do have enough uh, uh, iron ore, and there are still a few patches that we can. That we can take out. Uh, here I think we dug out a bit further. That's probably the next bigger project. Um, then down here, yes, we did drain this water down here. So That's let's plan it out like this. And then we can have door on this side and have a ladder going down here, up here and of course here and then digging all this out and also have uh, this closed. Um, don't need a bed there, that's for sure. Almost have enough still for our second aqua tuner. Need a bit more steel. And it looks like the first three have already been uh, harvested. Nice, cool thing. And yes, 
this is working quite nicely. And the uh, polluted water uh, level sunk quite a bit, so we will not be able to uh, sustain this indefinitely. Um, cancel. Cancel. I want to deconstruct a pipe underneath. Okay. And we can run this pipe. Here we will have a bridge there. And then have another bridge here. Um, and here we will have a few normal pipes to cool that down. And let's build it up first like this um, maybe here we want to have a bridge so we can take this line further up then have it here Bridge, and eventually we will uh, swap out uh, tiles um, so we can control the temperature. But for now, it's all isolated. Let's go up here. Then over and in here. That's quite a bit of piping for our first loop. Well, let's see what we have here. Yeah, copper ore. We are a bit short on copper ore. What's going on up here? They are once again at work. We're still missing um, the steel. Looks like they uh, have a bit more priority on the uh, the iron, but there is the steel, which means we can plan out the second aqua tuner here. And with that, we are at the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed this one as well, and. Uh, 
let's see if we can finish uh, this room in the next one. So join me then and you shall see. Goodbye.